Hello, this is the lesson for set one. If you are set one, um, you should have uh, been to the set one classroom. In the set one classroom, it should be under uh, M. This code, which you guys would have known it by now, M O four zero G S. So with this, you can join our class. So basically what happened is that we want you to um, submit uh, Google Slides which is something like a presentation about yourself. So you can actually uh, click on Term 1 in the classroom and you can move down a little bit and you can see Google Slides. Um, this is about, after, about me under Mr. Michael Poe. So once you click about me, you will come to this place where this is a um, Google Slides about me. So the first slide you will have, uh, you can change this to your, my name to your name and your class. It will be good if you can insert a picture of yourself. That will be one bonus point. About me, the next slide you can have a uh, click about you. Uh, write three important things about three interesting things about yourself. Of course, if you cannot edit, it is good for you to to make a copy for yourself. Make a copy into your own folder in your own drive, uh, Google Drive. That is. So once you make, uh, you can even create a folder for your own uh, project in future. So call this. You can call this. Uh, give it a name so that we know that it's about you. Um, so coming back to the project, after you write three things about me, there will be three points plus one point here, there will be four points. My family, it will be good if you can see a picture of your family here. Of course, uh, your family photo will tell us a little bit about you. And of course, if you want to write something to let us know a little bit on, on your about your family, that will be good. Finally, family tree. Okay, this is the most uh, difficult part of this um, project because there are many ways that you can do uh, your family tree. Uh, you can use uh, different shapes to represent different people in your family tree. Um, we do not need too much uh, information. Basically, probably uh, you, your family, and maybe a little bit about your extended family, maybe your paternal side or your maternal side um, of course the more you make it will be better for you when once your mother tongue teacher requests for a family tree later on in your study in SJI all right so once you have done this and you have saved it uh, in your own drive so you can even also of course use this um, findmypast.com this part of the lesson um, require you to sign in so that uh, they can um, create a tree for yourself so uh, let's just try okay uh, let me use my own so that I can show you what to do all right so once you have signed in you will be able to create your own family tree um, for this, I have created my 20 uh, families here. Okay, some of my grandfather and mother have passed away. So this is how it looks like. My father, my mother, that's me, my wife, and my two brothers. Of course, I have uh, one son that's here, uh, which is hidden. Of course, uh, then uh, you realize that the whole screen cannot capture everything that you you see down here so what you do is that uh, you can just copy it uh, a little by little so uh, the first part you may want to copy a little bit here or you can try um, to print out print them out so um, you can use the print page here to print whatever you can see first then you can uh, all right so probably this is uh, what we can see let me just make it a bit bigger so this is for me and my parents. Um, I didn't put down the other cousins, but if you think that is enough, you can um, press the print screen button on your computer, PRTSC, 
or use any other ways to uh, even you can use a snippet if you're using computer uh, SNIPP so you can use this snipping tool that you can use a clip a new clip you can just cut off uh, select the portion that you want and after this you can copy whatever that you see and of course um, you can don't need to save it I can just paste it in here for my own so once I paste it in if your family tree is too big of course you can copy a few times and paste them together once you have finished this um, you can of course submit it for grading um, the deadline is end of this term so if you have finished your Google about me then what you can do is of course uh, go up to um, the Google Forms about my family tree under Mrs. Madam Sundari so just click onto my family tree you will it will bring you to um, a form so okay let's just give it a minute okay my family tree under my family tree you just key in your full name your class choose from the list below um, key in your register number if you are from 1 to 9 just put 0, 01 to 0, 09 add in the file from your drive it should be located in your own folder or it can be found inside um, your own place make sure you know where do you save it okay so for me I save it here I can double click this about me and it has been attached so everything we want to see is in the slides you can type in any reflection if there's uh, things that you want to say about this um, assignment whether is it too difficult or too easy you can just type in here else you can just put not applicable and submit after you submit of course you can still go back to your drive and edit your work okay hope it clears up how to submit all this thing thank you very much god bless